Hello and welcome. This time we are talking about analog digital or digital analog converters. First, we want to have the basics. I want to explain the basics of both. And uh, then we're going to the details. So, analog digital, digital analog converters. They're converting between the analog and the digital world. This is like the name. Huh? I have something. I'm trying to explain it with this. Look at this. These are mustard seeds. Mustard seeds. Why I'm having mustard seeds? Because they have a certain size. All of those sizes are pretty equal. Yeah? And we can think about that. Yeah? Look at this. Here is a row of mustard seeds. This row of mustard seeds, I've put them all in a row so that we can see, aha, uh -huh, this is the maximum length we can reach with this amount of mustard seeds. If I want now to measure a length, length is by default, it's uh, not analog, uh, it's, it's not digital, it's analog, I can measure any length, yeah? but if I want to express this length with the help of mustard seeds, I can only put away one or leave it there, yeah? but I cannot just use a half one. Yeah? And this is exactly what uh, analog digital converters are doing, they are measuring the analog value yeah? and then tell us a number of how many those little things, those numbers, are inside. Okay. If I want to have it a little bit with more accuracy, I need to do this. With the mustard seed I need to do this. Put them here, in, yeah. Smash them. What I'm actually do, I increase, I increase the resolution. Okay. Increase the resolution. Actually, this here is not just for showing you. Uh, this here is because tomorrow we'll have a little barbecue and I make a barbecue wrap. But okay, now in theory. I could use little tiny pieces huh? and these little tiny pieces on the same length there are more of these little tiny pieces. So I can divide my measurement range into tinier pieces. Yeah? We, I think we talked about this, the difference between analog and digital. Okay? This how many pieces there are, how many subdivisions, this is called resolution. Actually, it's nothing more or less than in your camera, a mobile phone. Yeah? You have a certain resolution. If the resolution of the picture is not big enough, it looks a little bit like a mosaic. Yeah? If the resolution is big enough, it looks pretty nice. Yeah? Almost. We will see that this is not always the case. So. We had this, this drawing, if you remember, that here is the measurement range, here is the, the range, the number range, and I'm dividing this measurement range in sub-ranges and each sub-range gets a number. Okay, And here I have just steps. Okay, this is how this looks like. Here we have one, here we have two, here we have three. It's just numbering those subspaces. Okay. There's nothing more behind. We measure in which range we have and give this a number. There we come already to our first uh, 
So this is analog here. This is digital. The first thing that we need to know, if I want to have it a little bit more accuracy, I said we could simply double the resolution. So then we have the, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. I make more steps in between. Yeah? Then in this case, in this case, this would be one. Yeah? This is one, this would be two, this is three, this is four, this is five, this is six, this is seven, okay? I have simply more numbers. Yeah? And here I reach the maximum allowed number. Mm -hmm. But increasing just the resolution is usually not doing the trick alone. Yeah? Imagine I do have here measurement. If I can tell with an accuracy like this, it's okay. Huh? If I could tell my measurement range, my measured value is somewhere, this is the probability. Yeah? If I measure this value, it might be here, 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 here with a certain, with a certain uh, probability. If my measurement instrument is not that good yeah? and I cannot even tell yeah, if I measure this value, and it might also be this value, this value, this value, then it's getting difficult. Yeah? Then increasing granularity, increasing resolution is not a solution. Yeah? Because even with this dark resolution, with this dark green resolution, in this case where, it's, where we cannot tell if we are here, or here, or here, or here, yeah? we will, it's blurry anyway. It's like if you add just megapixels on your uh, photo apparat, yeah? on, the, on a camera, yeah? add just megapixels and then you, you get the megapixels, okay? But if your optical system is not good enough, it will look as blurry as before. Yeah? But you have more pixels. Yeah? The unsharp images have more pixels. Does not really, does not really fit. So those accuracy of the measurement and the resolution, they need to somehow fit together. Okay. So usually, usually this accuracy here is given in percent of the measurement end range, yeah, or uh, usually it's a percent value, and then they usually say plus minus one or maybe two digits. Okay. Like I say, we are here or here, plus minus one digit is very usual. Yeah. Because if we are at the in a border case, you cannot tell exactly which and which subspace this will be. So the resolution. A resolution is usually given in bits. Yeah. Now that we know the uh, uh, binary number system, this makes sense to us. Yeah. Because, let's say, we have 8 bits resolution. With 8 bits, I can display, I can distinguish between 2 raised by the power of 8, 256 different subspaces. Okay, so I would number here from 0 to 255. This is the resolution given in bits. And our Arduino, we had a resolution of 10 bits. 10 bits resolution, 2 raised by the power of 10, it's 1023. This is why we got uh, numbers between 0 and 1023. Usual analog digital converters, industrial grade, and yeah, they have at least a resolution of 12 bit. Uh, 2 raised by the power of 12 is 4096. Okay. High accuracy 13 bit, 14 bit, 15 bit, 16 bit are available. Uh, but then, like I said, the, also the measurement needs to be fitting to this high resolution. 
this makes this thing expensive also. And it's not just because it has a little bit more memory. No, no, this is not the very money. It's the money is in the accuracy of the measurement device. So let's assume we have 12 bit resolution. Yeah? And we do have a signal of 0 to 10 volts. Yeah? That's a standard signal. This is 0 volts, here is 10 volts. Yeah? How many volts I have? Yeah? What is the span? If I say it's 10 volts minus 0 volts divided 4096, what is the result of this? So it's 10 volts divided by 4096. And this is, grab my calculator to have it accurate. Grab my calculator. So it's 10 divided by 4096 and this is 2.44 millivolt by digit. So this is 2.44 millivolt. This is the resolution. If we expect if we expect this, then plus minus one digit, yeah, then we should be very accurate. Yeah? We measure with an echo of 4.88 millivolt. Uh, let's say this 0 to 10 millivolt are measuring some height, yeah? and this maximum height is 20 meters. Yeah? How many centimeters resolution do I have? Yeah. So it's 20 meters minus 0 meters divided by 4096. 20 meters divided by 4096. And this is 4.88 millimeter. Yeah. Why do I know? Because 10 and 20 is just a double value yeah, by digit. Yeah. So 5 millimeters roughly. Yeah. So this gives us already an idea, 5 millimeters is not that short, right? If I measure 20 meters, also not that long. Yeah? So I can measure plus minus 5 millimeters with this device. Okay? Or other example, let's say we are measuring, we are measuring with a 4 to 20 milliampere signal. then this is also a very usual usual signal that here we have 4 milliampere, here we have 20 milliampere and this we number. Yeah? So it's 20 milliampere minus 4 milliampere. Yeah? This is why I also always wrote this zero because the lower border might not be zero. Okay? Divided by 4096 and this is 16 milliamps divided by 4096 and this is 16 3.9 microamps by digit okay. 3.9 microamps by uh, microamp uh, ampere by digit and let's say this 4 to 20 milliamps they are representing, uh, let's say, a level measurement, yeah? Danube level measurement. So they are representing from 190 meter to 205 meter. Yeah? What would be the resolution? Yeah? 205 meter minus 190 meter divided by 4096 equals, so here we have 50 meters divided by 4096 and this is 3.66 millimeters by digit. So we could measure the level at an accuracy of plus minus one digit, 7.2. 
3 millimeters. So that's the resolution. Yeah? And this is the resolution, how it is uh, divided, how it's dividing this analog range. That's from analog to digital. From digital to analog, I will not get rid. Yeah? I will not get rid of these steps. It's either two or it's three. And then I am putting this voltage out or this voltage out. Nothing in between. So it's called digital analog converter. However, the analog value is not smooth anymore. It's changing in steps because the source, my number, can only be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. There is nothing in between. So also the analog value on the outside is then in steps. Clear, hopefully. Yeah? Even it's called digital analog converter, the output will be analog, yeah, but there will also be only discrete values. Yeah. So resolution, accuracy must fit to the resolution, it's important, and also the monotony must be given. So even if we are off a little bit. Yeah, because of the accuracy, because let's say we have an offset or something, even if we are off yeah, with our measurement, then if the measured value is increasing, also the value, the digital value must increase and vice versa. Yeah? Let's, if this is not given, I cannot use this. Yeah? If the analog value is increasing and the digital value is decreasing, Hey, no, 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 no. This is beyond every blurriness of the accuracy and so on. This must be fulfilled. Okay. Monotony. So these are the basics. You should know what is behind uh, resolution. Yeah? You should know what is behind the accuracy. That the resolution the accuracy needs to fit together. And you should know what's behind monotony. Next time, we're talking about one direction, digital to analog, DSCs. This will be in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.